Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Pradeep Srinivasan from the Refer series. Refer stands for Radiology Education for Enhancement of Radiologists. As a continuing education program, today we will be looking at a very interesting case of uh, complex cardiac anomaly. So, we will be looking at a fetal echo. Earlier in the lectures, we have learned that the first image of fetal echo is the upper abdominal image and this is the upper abdominal image. First with the help of the situs, we determine which is left and which is right. So with the help of the situs, we have determined that the anterior part is left of the fetus, the posterior part is right of the fetus, the spine is at 4 o'clock position and the anterior abdomen is at 10 o'clock position. So once we determine that this is left, we look inside the abdomen and the stomach is on the left side. Then the liver is on the right side. <laughs> so the situs has been determined and the left is anterior, right is posterior. Now I just move the probe into the superior mediastinum. The first thing which catches my eye is in the three vessel view, we have only two vessels. So this is left, this is right and this is superior vena cava and there is only one single vessel here. So normally we need to get a three vessel structure here and the pneumonics is passed. So P, A, S should be there and P is not there, A is there and S is there. This is theoretically correct but practically I do not know whether this is iota or pulmonary artery. So we just document the presence of two vessels in the three vessel view and I know that we are heading for a major cardiac anomaly. Then I go into the <coughs> four chamber view with my normal settings. I find that the image is a little coarse and I am not happy with the imaging here. So I change my preset to a better cardiac preset with a chrome and now we have an image of the heart here. So the, this is the left side, stomach is on the left, IVC, this is the iota, right sided IVC is entering the right atrium and I can see pulmonary veins entering the left atrium and there is a fossa ovalis and what is strikingly appearing here, abnormal here is that what is strikingly appearing here is in the four chamber view if you look at this image you will see that there are only three chambers of the heart okay now going forward we will unravel this step by step and we will look at the various cines which will help us decide what the abnormalities are and what is the final diagnosis. So here we have another zoomed video where we have the four chamber view showing right atrium, left atrium, left ventricle. That's the mitral valve and you can see the tricuspid valve <coughs> is thickened, ecogenic and not opening. So we have a normal mitral valve here which is opening and closing. There is good co-option, the leaflets are well visible. That's an intact crux and that's the fossa ovalis apparatus and we do not have a well formed right ventricle. So I slightly try to focus more on the chambers and this is a <coughs> picture frozen in the atrial diastole and we have widely open uh, filled atria and these are the pulmonary veins that's the iota opening into the left atrium. I do a Doppler on the mitral valve and you can see that the Doppler trace is normal. There is a two peaks, there are two peaks in the mitral valve. This is the E and that's the A wave. So the E has a velocity of 25, A has a velocity of 42, E by A ratio is 0 0.57 which is normal. So the flow across the mitral valve on Doppler is normal. Again we try to look at the valves in a much detailed manner. So that's the mitral valve opening and closing. That's the septal leaflet of the mitral valve. Dricuspid valve just moves anteriorly and posteriorly with the cardiac movement but you can see that there is no opening or closing of the tricuspid valve. So this is the image frozen during the <coughs> opening of the mitral valve. So there is a widely open mitral valve and here this is the image where the mitral valve is closed and well co-opted. So the mitral valve apparatus looks normal with a normal Doppler also. And we try to again concentrate on the valves a little more and try to look at what's happening with the tricuspid valve and <clears throat> the possibility whether this is a double, uh, double inlet single ventricle has to be entertained. 
but if you look carefully the tricuspid valve actually is on the right side and we have a very small collapsed right ventricle here probably with no lumen so this looks like a complete tricuspid atresia so the resultant image is a three vessel uh, three chamber cahart with no right ventricle then we look at the fossovalis fossovalis apparatus you can see the flap then we see a small structure here can you see that going to the left side that's the left pulmonary artery okay so now we will we have identified this is the one this structure is the left pulmonary artery telling us that there is a well formed left pulmonary artery now going up into the outlets like i said we have two vessels only and we have marked this as aorta and superior vena cava the reason is there was no branching of the aorta in the mediastinum so instead of the normal pas we have only a and s in the three vessel view and the a which uh, continues into the posterior mediastinum into the descending aorta which is a normal left sided aortic arch and left sided descending aorta now we are trying to look at what is happening to the outlets so to the right of the ascending aorta we have another small structure which i am labeling it as pulmonary artery now when we try to see from where the pulmonary artery comes it actually opens out into the left ventricle so that is the origin of the pulmonary artery then we go into our sagittal images to get the svc and ivc and then we try to get the outlets to look at the anatomy of the outlets so now we have confirmed that there is tricuspid atresia a completely hypoplastic attenuated right ventricle with a three chamber type of uh, single ventricle morphology heart so now we have to decide what's happening to the outlets so here we come into the outlets as soon as from the four chamber you try to go above we have two outlets coming out the first outlet is the left ventricular outflow tract which is clearly coming from the left ventricle which continues into the single large vessel in the three vessel view and which does not branch in the mediastinum so that clearly is the aorta to the right of the aorta if you see this is the pulmonary artery and that comes out from the left ventricle again and at the origin it is to the right of the ascending aorta and then it has a parallel course to the aorta so the pulmonary artery looks like it arises from the left ventricle goes to the right of aorta and appears parallel to the ascending aorta so there is no great vessel criss cross so now what have we done we have identified two outlets and we are sort of trying to tell that both the outlets come from the left ventricle and at the origin the pulmonary artery is to the right of the aorta and later the main pulmonary artery and arch of aorta are parallel to each other so that is the next finding so this is the ascending aorta coming from the lvot we have measured it <coughs> and then we'll take a doppler uh, waveform of the aorta which is 74 cm per second normal then we go to our color doppler and things become very clear that's the left that's the right that's the ascending aorta that's the pulmonary artery and you can see the pulmonary artery and aorta are parallel to each other great vessel criss cross is absent so there is transposition now we have a color doppler showing the inlet we have and the outlet so when we look at the outlet you can see that both vessels are coming from left ventricle and both vessels are parallel to each other this is the inlet that's a mitral inlet no tricuspid inlet then you can see the outlet parallel outlets coming out from the left ventricle so we have other views so this is right atrium left atrium that's a mitral valve that's a left ventricle and there is no right ventricle on color doppler so that's a color doppler showing the inflow and you can see that there is a single inflow there is no flow across tricuspid valve so that is a freeze frame taken at the <coughs> inflow of the mitral valve so you can see right atrium right ventricle left ventricle no flow across tricuspid valve into the right ventricle that's the three vessel view showing aorta pulmonary artery and superior vena cava without color so instead of p a and s we have a p and s classical transposed great vessels parallel to each other without criss cross now sine of the outlets so you can see that 
that's the aorta that's the pulmonary artery both are parallel to each other how do i know this is aorta we have seen that there are no vessels coming out for branches coming out in the mediastinum how do i know that this is pulmonary artery the left branch pulmonary artery which we identified actually comes from this vessel which is on the right side so we have determined that this right sided vessel is pulmonary artery left sided vessel is aorta both are parallel to each other so that's the pulmonary artery coming out we have measured it and that's the aorta coming out we have measured it and this is the pulmonary artery origin from the left ventricle so there is an argument whether this can be a small vsd with flow from left atrium to left ventricle across vst into the pulmonary artery that is a possibility but because of the transposition parallelism and uh, complete collapse of the right ventricle i believe that this is not a vst because if vst is there and so that to such a large vst then the right ventricle will not collapse fully so i believe that this is a completely collapsed right ventricle and it's a double outlet left ventricle with both aorta and pulmonary artery coming out from the left ventricle then we <clears throat> make sure that there is no um, isomerism and uh, those are the two pulmonary veins going into the left atrium we are just trying to recapitulate the anatomy and sag sagittal pictures actually when we try this is again yeah so because both the great vessels are parallel to each other and very closely placed the sagittal view is very difficult to show which is aorta and which is pulmonary artery the only clue will be when we get a branch pulmonary artery which i will show you soon see this is the right branch pulmonary artery so looking at the right branch pulmonary artery we know that this is a pa but genuinely showing these two vessels in a sagittal imaging is very difficult that's the mitral inflow that's the mitral inflow again that's the mitral inflow in complete <coughs> diastole and uh, this is the three vessel view so we conclude from below above getting the four chamber view and getting the three vessel view and getting the three vessel tracheal view so this is a case of tricuspid atresia completely collapsed severely hypoplastic right heart double outlet left ventricle with the transposed great vessels having a parallel uh, uh, nature so this is a p and s and that's the configuration and uh, that is a cine trying to again show in the rvot lvot views to see if we can separate out in the sagittal view that's the branch pulmonary artery telling that this is the pa and the other vessel which goes anteriorly and superiorly that's the aorta so the sagittal views will be very difficult to confidently show both the vessels we take our biometry look at the z scores the la is 6 mm ra is 5.8 mm lv is slightly dilated 7.6 mm and rv is not measurable that's again the mitral flow and <clears throat> that's from below above showing the entire abnormality four chamber three vessel three vessel tracheal the branch pulmonary artery mitral valve absent tricuspid valve so today we have seen a case of <coughs> abdominal situs solitus levocardia tricuspid atresia severely collapsed high severe hypoplastic right ventricle double outlet left ventricle and parallelism of great vessels with transposition thank you very much for a patient hearing This is Dr. Pradeep Srinivasan from Bangalore from the refer series. Those who want to learn more, please Google www.medinit.org. That is M E D I K N I T dot O R G for learning fetal echo, fetal aneuploidy, etc. Thank you very much. Happy learning and Jai Hind.